Welcome to the third debate of the International Philosophers Club. Both philosophers have points in common and points of difference. Perhaps the best way to compare both philosophers would be to see them as tunnelers through a mountain at opposite sides of the same mountain with different tools without even knowing if they are tunneling towards each other. <laughs> but both are doing their jobs and with quite new ideas, digging as profoundly as possible with an equal commitment to philosophy and politics. Enough reasons, it seems to me, to expect a fascinating debate about philosophy and about politics. I intend, therefore, not to lose any time and to start off with a perennial question. I was struck by what was said previously about the intellectual necessity of creating new models of society. One of the problems we have in doing this with student groups is that we are looking for consistency of values. One of the values you more or less mentioned is the necessity of decentralization of power. People on the spot should participate in decision making. That's the value of the decentralization and of participation. But on the other hand, we're living in a society that makes it more and more necessary, or seems to make it more and more necessary, that decisions are made on a worldwide scale. And in order to have, for example, a more equal distribution of welfare, etc., it might be necessary to have more centralization. These problems should be solved on a higher level. Well, that's one of the inconsistencies we found in creating your models of society, and we should like to hear some of your ideas on it.
May I interrupt? <laughs> I have a small question, or rather a remark to me. In your discussion, you use the term proletariat. What do you mean by proletariat in a highly developed technological society? I think this is a Marxist notion, which doesn't represent the exact sociological state of affairs. It's an irony of history that at this moment, young intellectuals coming from the middle and upper classes call themselves proletarians and say, we must join the proletarians. But I don't see any class conscious proletarians, and that's the great dilemma. I would like to ask another question. Which groups do you think will make the revolution?
the worst for the wear. <laughs> We're back.